approach phase, everything looking good. Altitude 5,200 feet. Yeah, flight controller is going to go for landing. Right Attitude down. Control. Go. Control. 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 Louis Elizondo talks about the five observables of UAPs, or UFOs. One, positive lift or anti-gravity, the ability to fly without the apparent means of propulsion or lift. This is in direct violation of the known laws of physics. Two, instantaneous acceleration. The ability for a craft to reach a high rate of speed in a short amount of time. And the ability to make 90 degree turns. Observations known of UAPs or UFOs suggest that these maneuvers would be unsurvivable by humans if they were in the craft. This suggests that the craft have additionally some means of violating the known laws of physics as we understand them or they're remotely controlled or controlled by AI. Three, hypersonic velocity with craft seen to reach speeds of over 3700 miles per hour or Mach 5 five times the speed of sound. These observations are again unusual because many of these observations are made without the, without the craft making a sonic boom, again violating the known laws of physics. Low observability, a craft's ability to conceal itself from any kind of radar. This is not beyond the current state of physics or our knowledge of radar technology, but it suggests a very advanced technology. Five, transmedium travel, a craft's ability to seamlessly move through space, air, or water. I want to just make the note that here on Earth we essentially have an atmosphere that consists of two layers. There's the air layer and then there's the water layer where a significant portion of the planet is covered with what is essentially a second atmosphere. This falls within the realms of possibility of known physics. But what is interesting is that we don't have any current craft that can do these type of maneuvers. And there is at least one known instant where the craft moves below the surface of the water and its velocity doesn't even change. It has been suggested that UFOs or UAPs have actually evolved or advanced since their initial obs observations. I don't know if this is true, but looking at the older reports, especially the reports of strange airborne machines from 1897, I've put together a list of observables for these machines that were seen over 125 years ago. Number one. The machines were silent. They made no, no noise when they were flying about, when people saw them. Thousands of people saw them. Two, they were red or glowed red. Three, they had some sort of revolving wheel that was part of its propulsion system. Four, it was dirigible shaped. A saucer has a dirigible shape from the side. And people knew 
about experiments with balloons, and they had were able to conceptualize the idea of flying balloons. It should be noted that dirigible-shaped cr craft had been built in 1884 in France, but Zeppelins, like the Hindenburg, were still a decade in the future. And the Wright Brothers flight, the first powered flight of an aircraft, was seven years in the future, and that flight lasted for 12 seconds, the first initial flight. Five, the interiors were brightly lighted. The cabins or gondolas of these craft. Six, they carried some sort of brilliant spotlight which could be shined on an area or on individuals. Seven, the ships were obviously under intelligent control of humanoid appearing creatures which could be seen in the craft, usually through windows. And eight, at least one craft was seen to have been a trans, to perform transmedium travel. As reported in the French journal Astronomie in November 1887 off Cape Race, Nova Scotia, a large glowing red object rose from the ocean, moved against the wind, turned showing an elongated shape, and then moved off into the southeast. It was observed for five minutes. The observables from 1897, none of these violate the laws of physics, the known laws of physics, even at the time. It's been suggested that with the advent of humans or people on this planet creating more advanced aircraft, that UAPs or UFOs needed to redesign themselves to keep up with this craft or evolve with our evolution or design of modern craft. I don't know. But it's an in, but it's an interesting question. So this is an alien probe snippet with Dr. Bill. Thanks for listening.